So, Cancer, I feel like there's a sense of you really wanting to be, you know, done with something. You want to put something um, to rest. Uh, when it comes to your problems, or a problem, specific problem, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to something that is just... It has been kind of haunting you or pursuing you, you know, like something you have not had the easiest time being free from. I feel like this new moon cycle might be one where you're kind of making, you know, decisions that feel definitive or feel like you are quite sure. Like you had enough of something, like you are sure or you are placing um, the things you want and the things you don't want, like putting everything in order. I also feel like some of you are putting, you know, like endings that have, um, you know, where you have, let's say, where you should have had put a long time ago. But it's like something, uh, something fail. It's like you fail to do or to, to put these endings um out of, I feel like you didn't have the courage or the heart because I feel like it's something that touches you emotionally. It's not something that you completely, you know, okay with. It's something that um, touches you, it triggers an emotional response. And so you went, it's like a, a sense of you have been moving in circles. There's a loop here when it comes to a problem or a relationship or again, any circumstance situation that has just been like that. Always round and round and round and round and round. And you have been left kind of spinning, right? In this motion that makes you feel dizzy, confused, sick even. I feel like some of you have had this issue, like emotional sickness. A, a sense of a cycle that has been like that for you for a while. That brought that sense of emotional sickness. Now, um... This could be also something that deals with um, drama. Something that has been building like that as well. A lot of drama pursuing you. A lot of different you know, aspects of your life are all combined in this loop. Um, and it's like you felt like you couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop this motion. And now perhaps you're finding it that actually you have the power to stop it. Or to at least put a barrier right a barrier energetic barrier and a mental barrier that allows you to not be swept away right into the storm um i feel like some of you there's also this issue of resistance uh you have resisted an ending you have resisted um a beginning you have resisted something to be as it is it could be that you have been Resisting getting into something or leaving something. It depends on your it depends on your story, Cancer. I also feel like some of you this might be an intense still a quite intense emotional period. It's like um some of you are dealing with losses or mourning something and you want people um you know to respect your time when it comes to that process of loss especially if it has to deal with someone that you have recently lost right it could be an actual death in your right family or a friend or someone that was close to you or um a loss it could be just a breakup or something on those terms you want you know your time, you want a time out, and it feels like you, you were being pressured by the world around you, and people are not kind of respecting your time out. Um, this new moon energy is it's like hard work, it's hard work for you, it will kind of show you what you're made of, what you're really made of uh, when it comes to strength, courage, will survival instincts, I feel like you're being really like, cancer energy feels as like you're being poked, 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 until you rise, right, to your power, and you defend yourself, or you assert yourself, or you make decisions that are just, you know, um, are, are not about 
it's the what ifs and maybe and no it's a yes it's a clear this is a month and a period uh this new moon vibe brings a yes or no there's no in between right there's no it's like back and forward or you know second guessing here either a yes or a no either you are demanding this as well from someone or someone is demanding um this from you i feel like some of you are going to avoid as well dealing um with a situation that it's emotionally complex you could be sending someone away or refusing some sense of proximity of someone not because you don't i don't feel it's not because you don't love this person or you don't want this person it's just you know that the drama that comes attached with them is so so big and you're you're dealing already with something and it could it, it could be an issue that you feel like you can't deal with um your own drama and then the drama of this person and, and merge that into your life so you could be like questioning if you really it could be that someone comes with the baggage uh or you actually uh, you, you know you have your own baggage it's like two two it's like two people with two, uh, a lot of baggage trying to come together without that kind of the, 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 the history, the background, the, their issues not colliding with one another. And there's a sense of collision here. And you're trying to avoid, I feel, either the collide energy here. You're avoiding, avoiding colliding with this, this person. Or you're avoiding a disaster, what you are perceiving to be a possible disaster. So I hope you have a great new moon cycle. Thank you so much for all of you that have been... Uh, supporting my channel, commenting, donating, subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box uh, below. Or if you would like to donate, you can also do so by following as well the PayPal link, which is also down below.